The most impactful moment in court was played was when the 911 call from Aiden's mother was played to the jury. She was calling 911 as Aiden was dying, cradled in her arms. The judge, however, only allowed the camera in the court for opening statements, and that's when the two attorneys painted two very different pictures of Marco Cerise. Little reaction from Marcus Ariz as the case against him is laid out. This is not a road rage case. This is an expression by Mr. Ariz of cold indifference, callous and total disregard for human life. Ariz wore a sport jacket and dark rimmed glasses with his long hair pulled back. He looked different from his mudshot taken after his June 2021 arrest for the shooting death of six year old Aiden Leos. Deputy DA Daniel Feldman quoted Ariz in his interviews with CHP That's investigators. I, I just grabbed my gun for some reason and shot at them. On May 21, 2021, Aiden's mom was driving him to kindergarten when she says a woman in a white VW cut her off. She claimed that the driver, Winnie Lee, flashed the peace sign at her. Joanna Clunan reacted in anger by flashing her own hand sign. Ms. Clunan left the HOV lane and began to move over towards the right to get off the freeway. And she gave the middle finger to the vehicle, to the male passenger, out of anger. Something she would come to regret beyond comprehension. Ariza's attorney, public defender Randall Bethune, knows the jury will hear the gut-wrenching 911 call by Aiden's mom and will see Ariza's confession. He characterized Ariza's action this way. Just a momentary lapse of reason by a 24-year-old guy who had very little life experience by a young man. In the days that followed Aiden's death, the search for the killer intensified. He was totally unaware. He had no hindsight and no clue as to the consequence of his actions in the moment. And he had no malice and he had no intent. When he finally realized the consequences of the one gunshot. You will not hear evidence that he got rid of the gun. You will not hear evidence that he tried to flee. You will not hear evidence that he went up to Northern California where he's from in Weaverville and went hiding in the mountains. You will not hear evidence that he disappeared at all. You'll hear evidence that he just continued to go to work. Any evasive actions his attorney claims he did to protect his girlfriend. Winnie Lee is being tried in a separate trial as an accessory after the fact. That he did exchange cars put her car in a garage and started to use his truck. But that's because Winnie Lee didn't do anything wrong. Court resumes on Monday. The jury will hear from Aiden's mom, Joanna, and also the prosecution promises the video of the interrogation of Marcus Ariz after his arrest. In Santa Ana, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.